Michari Amakuru. This is our second day of the night healing retreat. Yesterday we were speaking about inner healing. And we said that inner healing is rooted in forgiveness. If anybody wanted to receive healing from their wounds, they have to be ready to let it go. They should be ready to forgive. As long as people hold on to unforgiveness, there will not be healing. We had a retreat in our prayer house in Nairobi. It was a youth retreat. And after the youth retreat, we have seen, I have seen this girl several times for the retreat. But after the youth retreat, she came on to the stage to give a testimony during the time of testimony. They were almost 1,000, more than 1,000 youth attending the youth retreat. It was during their school holidays in the month of August. This girl came to the stage, there were many, but the first thing she said to the people, Please look at me. And she said, There was a time I don't want people to look at me. I was very lean and I was very thin. Whatever food I take, it was not affecting my body. People could not even recognize whether I am a woman, whether I am a man. I was so lean, I had no identity of my own. Then my aunt brought me to this retreat center. I attended many retreats. Because I used to eat, but there was no effect in my body. I tried medicine, there was no effect in my body. I took some, to some tonic, some kind of uh, uh, vitamin, it, no effect in my body. Then I came for retreats. Then I learned one thing. I keep hatred in my heart. And she said, she, her father abandoned her. And her mother decided to live with another man. This girl, she did not like it. She told the mother never to get anybody else. I only wanted my father. But the mother refused and started to live with another man. Who became her stepfather. This girl did not like him. They were living in the same house. Under the same room. More than 12 years. She never even spoke a single word to the, the stepfather. Because she hated this man. Actually, he has done no wrong to her. But she did not like him. Because she thought because of that she lost the love of her real father. With all this hatred, she was eating food. It had no effect. This girl said, I never thought keeping hatred is keeping poison in my body. I never thought keeping hatred was equal to keeping poison in my body. Because whatever Food I took, it had no effect. We read in the book of Hebrews, this is 
Abba Heburai chapter 12 verse 14. Dusoma mu gitabo cy'aba Heburai mu twa 12 mu rungu wa 14. Do not the scripture says pursue peace with everyone and the holiness without which no one will see God. See to it that no one fails to obtain the grace of God that no root of bitterness springs up and cause trouble and through it many become defiled. Aba Heburayo 12 umurongo wa 14 14 and 15 na 15 Ni muharanire kugira amahoro Na bantu bose no gutunga ubutungane kuko utabufite atazigera abona imana muramenye ni hazagire numwe usaguka kungabire y'imana ni hazamere kandi muri mwe inge mwisharira yabatera imidugararo mazikanduza imbaga yose without holiness no one can see god so if anyone is keeping root of bitterness anyone is keeping hatred unforgiveness they are defiling themselves ababika urwango rero ntibabarire ubwabo is equal to wasting the precious grace of God given to you. That is why in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 1 we read it is to Abanya Corinthi. Chapter, chapter 6 verse 1 make sure that you don't waste the grace I have given to you. Let the grace I have put to you not go in vain. 2 Corinthians 6 1 Ugoturi awafashabimana Turawashishikariza kudafushu usa Uwo nubugayo So many, they feel they are paralyzed They feel they work hard but there is no effect Mumbako wakora chane aliko nivijiri musaruro Many feel you are sick but when you go to hospital, no sickness. The feelings of bitterness, feelings of <coughs> hatred, weighs you down. This little girl said, Holy Spirit told me, as long as you keep hatred towards your stepfather, I cannot bless you. You have to forgive him. You have to ask him to forgive you. You have to bless him. You have to ask him to bless you. She said when she did that during the days of retreat. Not in, not in this retreat, in the previous retreat. Then she found her life is changing. Then she found that the food that she is taking is the as effect in her body. She found that she was getting back the health. She even invited the stepfather for a retreat. She felt even compassion to this stepfather. She got back the, the gift of self-confidence. She started to love herself. Satan is a deceiver. If anyone is keeping hatred, you are destroying yourself. And you are doing no good to yourself. Do you want to destroy yourself? This girl said, I never thought I was destroying myself when I refused to reconcile with my stepfather. When the Holy Spirit revealed to me that, 
I started to pray for my stepfather. I forgave him. I blessed him. And the Lord released me. This is a particular testimony I never forget. Because I have found many people having fear. Even to speak in front of others. Even to face people. Even to look at the eyes of others. It's rooted in an inner wound called self-hatred. When a person starts to hate others, that seed of hatred will make you even to hate yourself. One of the seeds that Satan always saw among the people is a seed of hatred. How to overcome this? Only through prayer and fasting. Because it's a spirit. It is a spirit. And a, a big evil spirit. If you hate anyone, you are attacked by Satan. I met a girl. She told me, Father, I attended several retreats. I am 42 years. Can you pray to your Jesus and tell me why he is delaying my marriage? I need a life. I need to be married. But I am not getting any life partner. Can you pray and tell me? If there is why God is not merciful to me. Why God is blocking and delaying my blessing. When we started to pray. He asked her. Did you forgive everyone? She said she is a member in the prayer group. She does not remember anything like that. We again prayed. We got the same message and we again asked her. Are you sure you have forgiven everyone, even living dead, everyone? Then she said she has not forgiven one person. Then we asked her who is that? She told father that's my ex-boyfriend. Six years we were friends. All of a sudden, he married someone else. So we told her, her You have to forgive him also. Then she is telling me, Father, that one, that one is a different case. I will not forgive. Then I told her, Don't say God is not merciful. Don't say God has delayed your marriage. You have delayed forgiveness. You refuse mercy to your ex-boyfriend. You don't want to forgive him and release him. How can God give you a husband with all this hatred inside your heart? You are not fit for marriage. Because you have hatred in your heart. You have hatred towards your ex-boyfriend. Your God is a merciful God. God cannot give you a man when you have this poison of hatred inside you, you will also spoil him. So it is not God who delayed your marriage. It is you who delayed your forgiveness. You forgive today. You will be blessed today itself. Jeremiah 31.3 God is not far away. He has loved you with, a, with an everlasting love and his faithfulness is steadfast. He is very close to you. Jeremiah 31.3 Jeremiah 31.3 He has, for prophet Jeremiah he is feeling God appeared to him from far away and told him I have loved you with an everlasting love. 
Yeremia mirongo umutwa wa 33 mu murongo wa gatatu ragira uti uhoraho yarambonekeye musenge cyane uhoraho yarambonekeye uhoraho mu gihugu cyakure agira ati nabukunze urukundo ruhoraho nabukunze urukundo ruhoraho kandi ubudahe mukangu ufitiye kandi ubudahe mukangu ufitiye nibwo butuma nkwiyegereza God is not far away. Yes, but we are far away. It's not Jesus who is gone away. It's we who have gone away. It's not God who is not merciful. Because that is his nature, his character. If, if you are ready to forgive, Immediately you will see the miracle. If you are ready to forgive now, you will see a miracle now. Are you ready to forgive? All those who are ready to forgive, raise your hand. Even little children are lifting the hands. It is very serious. If you don't forgive, you are telling God, I don't want your blessing. But if you forgive, everything is going to change. God had given me a revelation. I used to share this in the past. I want to repeat it once again. It happened in Kenya. After the retreat, as usual, as I see people here in Cheru, we used to meet people. They come to receive blessing, they come to bless their file, their documents, their exam purpose before they go for anything. Because there will be many people, we don't ask them many things, we immediately bless it. One day a lady brought to me a file. She was saying that she brought me a file. So sometimes people bring those files before they go for interview, before they go for promotion, before they go for a kind of a job application, they bring their documents. So she was saying that she brought me a file. Even when people go for visa application they bring the documents to get it blessed so this lady brought to me this file and told me to bless it there were many people on the queue so before I was going to bless but before blessing I just asked her, what is in the file? To know whether it is the visa application or job application or her mark list. I just asked her what is inside the file so that I put that intention and bless it. And she told me, no, she told me, Father, you first bless it, later I will explain to you. I told her, no, first you tell me what is in the fire, then I have to bless it. Then she told me, it's a good fire, you bless it, Father. I told her, but I have to put that intention, tell me what is this fire. Then she is slowly telling me, this is a divorce petition file. I told her, I can't do that. It's a sin. Me, I'm a priest. I am sent to bless marriage, not to bless divorce. And I, and I told her, Prophet Malachi, chapter 2, verse 16. Malachi 2, 16. The Lord says, I hate divorce. Malachi chapter 2 verse 16. Last book Kavir. in the Old Testament. Kavir. Chapter 2 verse 16. Kavir. Chapter 2 verse 16. 
Marachia kabiri, umutu wa kabiri, umurongo. Sixteen. Sixteen. Chumi nagata anda tu. Let us repeat. <coughs> Only that first word. I hate divorce, thus says the Lord. Just to say that one. We repeat, thus, you will repeat, thus says the Lord. They will repeat, I hate divorce. They will repeat, karingui, seven times. I ah. hate divorce, says the Lord. Na, na nga kumugavo asendu mugorewe. Mm. Yeah. They will only repeat I hate divorce. You will repeat that same thing. Musubire mo inshuro Musenge chani. Nanga kumugawo asendu mugorewe uonu hora ho uvifuze. Nanga kumugawo ya asendu mugorewe uonu hora ho uvifuze. They will say, I hate divorce. Yes. 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 So we told her, God hates divorce. Imana yanga utando kano kavasha kanye. It is from the word Bible. Ni jambo rio mo libiria. It's not my word. Na vugari jambo ya padir. It is not my teaching. Na vugo alinye jisho za padir. Your God is telling you. Ni mana yanyo imivabugi. I hate divorce. Nanga. Kumugabo ya sendo mugorewe. Do you want to do something your God hates? Murashita kwa kuri chima na yanyo yanga. Oya or Yego. Do you want to do something your God hates? Oya. Oya. I told this woman. Your God hates divorce. And you are telling me to bless your divorce file. Then she is telling me, Father, you first listen what I have to say. Father, I have five children. My husband is a drunkard. When he drinks, he behaves like an animal. He beats me. He pulls my hair. He broke my neck. Father, he never takes responsibility of the children. He does not even know the names of his children. He is fully drunk. As long as he is destroying the money, I can't look after the children. I need my property to look after my children. He he will kill me. Ni ukwa kora tita kuba na mafranga yose ya jana mo sinzi ninge uja yezo kuri kyo chwe kyo se kujira ngo mba se kuita kuba na. And she told me. Haji mara mo gira padiri. Father, you should also know. Father, you should know mba kumenyi chini. He does not believe in God. Na abu ye meri mana. I suspect he is a devil worshipper. But ndete nye ikako asenge vijirwa mana. He will not even permit me to pray. Na abu gato masenga. He will not even send me to the church. Na abu gato manja mchiriziya. Bless this file. Humujisha i dosye yanchi. I told you no. 1 Corinthians 7:14 Aramugira ati ijambo ry'Imana abanyakorino ba mbere umurongo wa umutwa wa 7 umurongo wa 13 Let's repeat The unbelieving husband is made holy through the wife and the unbelieving wife is made holy through the husband This is the word of God We told her because your husband is an unbeliever God gave you this man to convert him Abanyakorino ba mbere umutwa wa 7 umugabo umurongo wa 3 uragira uti umugabo nakwiri 1 Corinthians 7, 14. Chumi na kane. Kuko umugawo utemera. Atagati fuzwa numugorewe. Chimwe no kumugoro utemera. Atagati fuzwa numugawo we. We explained to her, God knows your husband does not believe. Ba mgevati, imani zumugawo wawe umu utemera. We asked her, do you believe? Then she told me, Father, you open my heart and look, it's full of Jesus. I love Jesus too much. I told her, that's why God gave you a man who does not love God. It is God's plan, you have to convert this man. Then she's telling me, Father, you are not understanding what I am talking. He's not just an unbeliever. He's wicked. 
Father, he is a devil worshiper. Father, I don't think I can change him. He can even kill me if I live with him. He even beat at my children. He is wicked. Then we explain to her. Ezekiel 33, 11. Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 11. Thus says the Lord, I do not want even a wicked man to perish, but I want him to repent and return to me. Why do you die, O man? This is Ezekiel 33, 11. Ezekiel 33, 11. Say to them, as I live, says the Lord, I do not rejoice in the death of the wicked. Babgire kombira hiye ubujingo bwanje babgira kombira hiye ubujingo bwanje one nyagasano horaho bivuze one nyagasano horaho bivuze ntabwo njya nishimira urupfu rw'umugome ntabwo njya nishimira urupfu rw'umugome ahubwo nishimira ko yahinduka ahubwo nishimira ko yahinduka akazi bukira imyifatire ye mibi akazi bukira imyifatire ye mibi kugira ngo abone kubaho kugira ngo Nimuhindu kerero Nimuhindu kerero Muzimu chiri yonzirambi anyu Muzimu chiri yonzirambi anyu Nikuchi mngarinda kupfa Nikuchi mngarinda kupfa Murjango wa Israeli Murjango wa Israeli So the Lord is telling I do not want even a wicked man to be perished Imana yira mugiti Na wuna kwishi mirako numugome ya hafa We ask this woman Babu gerero mudamu do you want your husband to be perished? Do you think that your husband, wherever he goes, let him be lost? You want him to be died? You want him to be lost? Then she told me, Father, he will kill me. We explained to her 1 Corinthians 10.13. Chapter 10, verse 13. God will not give you a test which is beyond your power. Chapter 10, verse 13. Let us repeat this word of God. Our God is faithful. He will not give you a test which is beyond your power. No. Imana ni nda hemuka. Imana ni nda hemuka. Ni yako emera kwa mushukwa. Ni yako emera kwa mushukwa. Virenzi imbaraga zanyu. Virenzi imbaraga zanyu. Aho bwizaba huburyo. Aho bwizaba huburyo. Go kwivana mu bishuko. Go kwivana mu bishuko. Ni imbaraga zo kubyihanganira. Ni imbaraga zo kubyihanganira. We told her. Baramubwiye rero. You have to know. Ugomba kumenya kimwe. Your husband is weak. He is wounded. He is rejected. He feels he is abandoned. He feels he is empty. He cannot stop drinking. Unless he receives that grace. We explain to her. Actually speaking. When your husband is pulling your hair, he's actually telling you, darling, pray for me. When he is choking your neck, actually he's making a prayer request, pray for me. Because you are not praying for me. I'm drinking alcohol. I'm beating you. I'm abusing you. I need grace. Can you please pray for me? Because with my own power, I can only do all these crimes. I am weak. Can you strengthen me with your prayer? We taught you this prayer from Tobit chapter 8 verse 17. Toby chapter 8 verse 17 is a prayer be merciful to them O master keep them safe bring their life to fulfillment in happiness and mercy the second part Toby 
chapter 8 verse 17 umutwa munane umurongo wa 17 chapter 8 verse 17 Be merciful to them, O Master. Be part. Be merciful to them, O Master. Keep them safe. Bring their life to fulfillment in happiness and mercy. Uva sende lezehi muwe numuchiro wa we. Uva sende lezehi muwe numuchiro wa we. Maze wazasa zane umunezero. Maze wazasa zane umunezero. Nubu guaneza. We asked her the name of the husband. She told me Joseph. We told her to pray like this be merciful to my beloved husband Joseph keep him safe bring his life to fulfillment in happiness and mercy. Baramgero ngo nasabire umugabo wa Joseph agira ati usendereze ho Joseph imuwe numukiro wawe maze Joseph azasaza numunezero nubugwaneza. This prayer reveals why this man was hurting the wife he has insecurity feeling his life did not come to fulfillment he has never experienced what is happiness that is why in 1 corinthians chapter 7 verse 16 we read oh wife all you should know that you have to save your husband So it's the duty of the husband and wife to save one another. Not to accuse but to pray. So we told her we taught her this prayer. Tobit 8:17. Eh All the married women raise your hands. Abagore mwese mufite abagabo muzamura ukuboko. And you are going to repeat this prayer. Hanyuma dusubire muri iryo sengesho. I hope you remember the name of your husband. Arizera ko ukibuka izina ry'umugabo wawe. What's his name? Izina ry'umugabo wawe ni rihe? Say loud. Vuga cyane. Only one, only one name. Umugoro ngani wewe ibuka izina ry'umugabo wewe. Do you remember the name of your husband? Wewe ko izina ry'umugabo wawe bafite. Pray for him. Umusabire rero. Betty will pray for her husband. So the same way you have to pray putting the name of your husband don't put any other name Now you don't know how to save the umugabo wa uvuga izina rye kushyire imirye ishore iki Usendeze ho sidio be merciful to Joseph like that Yes Mureke maze mbabwira uko dushobora kusenga Usendeze ho sidio imuwe numukiro wawe maze siridio azasaza numunezero nubugwaneza nkabyumvise namwe ro murasabira abagabo banyu usendeze ho siridio imuwe numukiro wawe maze siridio asaza numunezero nubugwaneza gatano murabivuga ishure shano usendeze ho musenge cyane uko musengera cyane 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 niba mutazanye niko bimugeraho nuvuga nyinyinyinye ntabwo biri bumugereho kandi ukeneye kwakira sibyo tuvuga rero cyane usenderezeho mazes ntabwo muri mugende gahoro you can repeat then repeat after you usenderezeho usend izina Imuwe numukiro wawe Maze siridio Azasazane Umunezero nubugwaneza Aho nzajya ceceke kandi guzajya uvuga izina ryo usabira sibyo Usendezeho Imuwe numukiro wawe Maze azasazane umunezero nubugwaneza usendezeho umwe numukiro wawe maze azasazane umunezero nubugwaneza did you learn this prayer iryo sengesho mwaryumvise mwarifashe Now all the husbands abagabo rero nabo married men abagabo bafite abagore raise your hands muzamura kaboko 
I hope you remember the name of your wife. The best charity is a prayer. Put her name and pray. We, we put her name Mary. You have to put the name of your wife, only the name of your wife, not anyone else. Be merciful to Mary, your master. Usendere. Usenge chane. Usendere zeho marita. Imuhenu mchilo wawe. Maze. Maria. Asazane umunezero nubugwaneza. Amazina wala gorela anyo muyavuge chane hatagira haze chumukira. Sito. Usendere zeho. Imuwe no mchilo wawe. Maze. Aza sazane umuneze ronu guaneza. Usende zeho. Imuwe no mchilo wawe. Maze. Aza sazane umuneze ronu guaneza. Thank you so much. Good across your channel for praying. Yes, what goes away? We told this woman. Bab Guerrero, Womudamo, kindly pray for your husband. Savira, Umugabawe. Don't tell him. We be Mugir without telling him. Uti, the way of Mugish. You pray. Usenge. Be merciful to my beloved husband, Joseph, or master. Keep him safe. Bring his life to fulfillment in happiness and mercy. Fifty times before sleeping. Taking the rosary, counting 50 times, you pray for one month, then you come back to me. We told her. Baramuge Roberti, Usenge Shiro, Mirongutanu Kumonsu, Bujuruti, Usenge Rezo Yosef, Mugabo Wange, Imuwe, Nomuchiro Wawe, Mate Yosef, Azanumeze, Nubuaneza, Bamugira Kubikora, Ishiro Mirongutanu Kumonsi, Ukwezi Kose. After one month, Ukwezi Kuranjero, we have retreats all throughout. Ake Bajira, Imirero, Uriji. There were many people. Haravan Vesh. Then one man came and he started to speak to me. He told me, Father, I, am a, I was a drunkard. Father, when I drink, I don't know what I was doing. I used to become very violent. I used to beat my wife. I used to hurt my children. But, and also when I come drunk, my wife used to curse me, tell me so many bad things. So I will again go and drink. Uh, because I felt rejection by everyone. One day I came home. Drinking. Then I heard my wife praying for me. Jesus, be merciful to my beloved husband. Oh Jesus, keep him safe. Bring him to fulfillment in happiness and mercy. Yumba Avogati, Yesu Mugisha, Sendera Zahumugao Wange, Yosefu, Imuwe Numuchiro Wawe, Mataza Sazane, Umuneze Runubuaneza. He told me, Aram Girati, my wife was always fighting with me. Mugore Wange, Kawaragaturwana. Now she stopped fighting with me and she is praying for me. She's praying for me, calling beloved husband. Since I am married, I never heard her calling me beloved. Now he's calling me beloved and praying so long. Then I thought, how can my wife change? But I did not used to go to church. But when my wife changed, I thought of following verse going. Without her, no, now I came here. God touched me. God touched me.
and I stop that habit. No, 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 no. I'm a new person. No, 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 no. As this man is talking to me. Oh, oh, God, I'm going to be I saw one woman from far. Yeah, oh, yeah, um, God, um, yeah, that ring you, my child. She's waving her hand like this. Yeah, that ring you, I'm going to be a cook, oh, yeah. When I look, that was the woman who brought me that file for divorce. Yeah, they, eh, as I know, I'm going to be a woman, I'm going to be a pro, I'm going to be a pro, I'm going to be a pro, that's my husband, that's my husband. Yeah, I'm going to be a pro, 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 I'm going Then I came to know. Hanya pada ada kemenya korea. The wife's eyes are always where the husband is. Ah, umat saya boleh beri he awaran kami mugu. No has from the eyes of the wife. Nah mugu, usah awak kui hisha amat saya mugu rewe. This man was changed. Oh mugu, yara hindut. So the first thing we have to do. Ikan macam beru gomba gukaran ini. Stop judging. Hagarika gucuruban sa. Stop accusing. Hagarika kujira ucuruban. Start praying. Sometimes we feel the prayer, we pray a lot, but it's not getting answered. We have to know sometimes some people cannot pray. Sometimes some people cannot pray. Sometimes even very prayerful people are under the attack of Satan. Sometimes even holy people are under the attack of Satan. You could not even believe how some people can behave like that. They are under attack. Because Satan can attack anyone at any time. He can attack priests. Charismatic priest. Prayer group does. Very holy people. Even religious nuns. We read in Luke chapter 22 verse 31 and 32. Jesus is telling Simon, Simon, Satan has tried to sift you like wheat. But I have prayed for you so that you may not fail. Nuko Yesu aravuga ati Simoni 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 kibi yabasabye Ngo bashungure nk'ingano Ariko nagusabiye Kugira ngo kwemera kwawe Kudatezuka Nawe rero Numara kwisubiraho Jesus is telling you know Simon Peter is boasting I will never deny you I will never reject you I will never leave you alone then Jesus is telling Simon my dear son I can see someone behind him. Ndavona omunure nyuma yawe. With the two horns and a tail. Omunure nyuma yawe. Ufit mahemba vidi. No morizo. I can see someone behind you, my son. Ndavona omunure nyuma yawe. He will cause you nae. Unyakana. I pray for you. Nakusavye. Look at the sacrament seriously. Why we cannot run? If Satan was behind Peter to deny Jesus, do you think he will not attack you? He will not attack you. We have to pray for them. That is why we need parish. We need church. We need community. That is why in holy mass, every holy mass, the priest pray, do, Lord, don't look at my sins, but look at the church and its goodness. Because Jesus was praying, Simon Peter was protected. Your husband may be working in Congo. Just take it for granted. Pray for 
Pray for him. Musavi. So that he may not fall. Kujira ngo atagwa. Maybe your wife is in Canada. Umugawa umugora shaka muri Canada. Maybe your son is abroad. Ushaka umwana wawe ari mu mahanga. We need to pray for them so that they don't fall. Dukeneye kubasavira kujira ngo batagwa. If anybody falls. Umuntu yaguye. If your husband falls into adultery. Ni umugawa wawe mu sambanye. After marrying you. Amaze kugushaka. You are also responsible. Na ufite mu ruhare. Why because you have a duty to pray for him. Kubera kufite ishingana na wenze kumusavira. When most lifting his hands and praying the people of Israel were praying. Igihe Musa yazamuraga maboko ababuru mu ryango wa Israel wabagurinzwe. That is why we cannot accuse anyone. Niyo mpamvu nta numwe twagombye gucira urubanza. Because our duty is like that of Jesus who unceasingly prayed for the return of Peter. Koko ishingano zacu ni nka Yesu gwasabiye Petero kugira ngo agaruke. If you think that your husband is weird, you are not praying for him. You are not praying for him enough. I know Rwandans are the most prayerful people. But we have to pray until the heart of the Lord is shaken. Monica prayed 18 years. 18 years. She did not give up. So her husband, <coughs> Patricius, got converted and her son. They are hurt. They need our prayer. This Man Joseph told me. I did not know what I was doing when I got drunk. When I come drunk, my life is hurting more. Then I again fall into the same sin. But when I came, I saw her praying. I got the grace. I got God's love inside me. My dear sisters and brothers. I know as you are here seated in front of Jesus. We are all wounded. But do you know the one who hurt you, wounded you, are more wounded? And do you want them to be perished? Or do you want them also to be saved? Do you want them to be saved? Oya or Yego. Those who say Yego, raise your hand. Alafu kaya kubaza muruko huko. Ura kose chane. This is enough. Mira hajisi. This is, when you have that compassion to your enemy, you are touched by God. Yorero, ufiti umutima, ufiti imbuwe, umanzi wawe, imani baya kukoze huko. When you feel a kind heart towards your wicked ex-husband, Holy Spirit is working inside you. That is why we when you feel that compassion towards the one who murdered you and your family, you are touched by your father. You are touched by your father. A spiritual father told me. When Jesus was brutally murdered. More than Jesus. It was the father. Abba father. Who was deeply hurt. When the only son Jesus was brutally murdered. It was Abba father who was so hurt. Abba father was so hurt because his only son looking up to heaven what they are doing I forgive them please forgive them too Abba father they don't know what they are doing please forgive them Abba father they don't know what they are doing please forgive them Musenge chane. Why this prayer is very important? All the blessings that should come upon us can be blocked if Jesus does not forgive us. All the heavenly blessings can be blocked if Jesus does not forgive us. 
imigisha yose iva mu ijuru yashoboraga guhagarara yeza tadusengera cyo he forgave us yaratubabariye and he wants us to do the same arashaka ruko natwe tubabarira we all been received forgiveness from jesus twese twabonye imbabazi zituruka kuri yezu he wants us to do the same natwe arashaka ko tubabarira are you ready to forgive mwiteguye kubabarira all those who are ready to forgive raise your hand abiteguye kubabarira za mu rukuko Let's kindly kneel down. Let us ask the Lord to forgive us. Dufuka merero, dusabimani tubabarire. Tubabarire. Let us ask God to forgive us. Tubabarire. Reka dusimani tubabarire. Keep your hands open. Dufama boko yacu biganza byacu. Ask the Lord to have mercy and to forgive us. Dusabimana itugirire impuhwe itubabarire so that we give the same forgiveness to others. Yagona tubashe kuzigeza kubandi. Dusabimana imbabazi natwe tubashe kuzigeza kwandi turirimbe tubabarire Let's stretch forward our hands Turambure ibiganza byacu Bring all those who hurt you Hanyuma uzane abagukomerekeje bose Forgive them Hanyuma bababarire Bless them Ubasabira umugisha Let them all receive a blessing from God Reka bose babone umugisha uturutse ku mana I have these I will give everyone Nyagasani Yesu mbabariye buri wese Nyagasani Yesu mbabariye buri wese My Lord Jesus I bless all of them Nyagasani Yesu bose mbahaye umugisha Nyagasani Yesu bose mbahaye umugisha My Lord Jesus I pray for their salvation Nyagasani Yesu ndasabye ngo bose bakire Nyagasani Yesu ndasabye ngo bose bakire Lord have mercy on them Nyagasani bose bagirira impuhwe Nyagasani bose bagirira impuhwe Lord have mercy on them Nyagasani bose bagirira impuhwe Nyagasani bose bagirira impuhwe Lord please touch and heal them Nyagasani bose bakoreho bakire Nyagasani bose bagiriho bakire For God nothing is impossible Kumana byose birashoboka Do you believe that Murabyemera Yego Do you believe that Murabyemera Yego One day one person sent me a message Rimwe umuntu umwe yamwoherereje message Acts the message was this Acts 23:11 Eh mu byakozwe n'intumwa 16:11 The word of God says keep up your courage for just as you have testified for me in Jerusalem so you must bear witness also in Rome Acts 23:11 Acts 23:11 Ibyakozwe n'intumwa 16:11 And that night the Lord stood near him and said Mwijoro rikurikiyeho Yes yes Mwijoro rikurikiyeho Nyagasani awereka Paulo Aramubwira ati Komera Uko wambereye umugabo I Jerusalem Nikugomba no kuzambera umugabo ni Roma. Somebody send me this message. Ono yamwoheje iyo message and told me. Aramubwira ati what about of God for you? Nabonye ijambo ry'Imana nki. After getting this message. Amasira yo message. Yes. Nyakya kuriki. I reach Rome. Yaje kugera i Roma. Before coming to Rwanda I was also in Italy. Mbere yuko aza mu Rwanda yahoze no muri Kenya. I never thought I will go there. Nabwo yari yarigeze atekereza ko azagira Rome. But God thought. Ariko Imana yarabivuze. He knew it. Yari bizi. Believe it. Nimwemere. God is real. Imana iriho. He knows everything. Izi byose. Your future. Izi bizakubaho. Your past. Izi byahise. Your present. Izi ni ukuri hubu mu. Surrender yourself to Jesus. Yose byegurire Yesu. You will witness miracles. Hanyuma uzabona ibitangaza. Psalm 47:1. Mukoma mashiru buzi mundu mushimira Imana. Muha guruke. Muha guruke. All those who feel you have been healed by God raise your hands. Abumva bakize Imana yabakije bazamura kuboko. We are going to say thank you to the Lord. 
We are going to say thank you to the Lord. We are going to sing thanksgiving to God. I'll carry the blessed sacrament to you. You will be thanking God. Then immediately we start Holy Mass. Let you clap your hands sing together. We have taken this passage from the Gospel of Matthew because of the inner healing retreat. This word of God says, love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you. Jesus is preaching to religious people. Jesus entered into the synagogue. According to the Jewish practice. If somebody is taking your one tooth, you can take his one tooth. If he's slapping on your face, you can also slap him. Only once. Previously, if somebody is taking one tooth, they can take all the 32 of them. But with Moses, he changed it. For him, justice means one slap, you can return one slap. Love those who love you. Hate those who hate you. Treat your enemies as enemies. That was justice for them. After preaching this, the Pharisees are going. Jesus comes in. And he is telling. Did you hear what they were talking? Love your friends and hate your enemies. But I tell you, love even your enemies. We know it is very hard. But Jesus then showed us the way. The first step of loving your enemy. Pray for them. When you pray for them, you will feel that compassionate love of your father. He does not want anyone be lost. Yes, what what we were conducting a retreat. And we were preaching about forgiveness. The moment we preach about forgiveness, one girl who was in the retreat, she will just get up and walk away. She has no problem if we preach about God's love, about uh, uh, brother, brotherly love, <coughs> about uh, suffering, uh, about Holy Spirit. But anything about forgiveness, she cannot accept, she will just walk out. One of our sisters who is a team member found her that she does not want to listen to forgiveness. Then she even got angry with the sister. It is my choice. I don't like to forgive. Then she was brought for counseling. When we started to pray, we came to know she has hatred towards many people. Including her father, including priests, counselors, she hates everyone. We told her, You have to forgive. We told her that Jesus is standing beside you, being bound. He, you have to release him by forgiveness. Because of your hatred. Then she started to scream. As if she is, is getting more angry. And we told her, whatever may be your pain, you have to share with us so that you receive healing. Then she revealed that she was sexually abused by her own biological father. 
hanyuma aza kubahishurira yuko yaba yarafashwe ku ngufu na se umubyara and then she said she went to a hospital the doctor also abused her agiye kwa muganga no muganga waru wagomba kumwitaho na waramufata then she was sent to a counseling the counselor also sexually abused her hanyuma mujanye kwa gomba kumugira inama kumufasha mu maranga mutima ye uwo nawe amufata ku ngufu that is why she could not accept anything niyo mpamvu na kintu na kimwe ashoraga kwemera anything about forgiveness kumva ibyo kubabarira kuri we byari nzozi because she was telling if it was a stranger he my enemy I could forgive the same same people who is supposed to protect me help me are the same people who destroyed me Ya mugagati abo bantu bwabo barakwiye kumfasha nibo bangiriye nabi ko nababarira gute She had decided never to get married Nabwo yari yarafashe icyemezo cy'ukutazigera ashaka She tried four times to commit suicide Ishirenye zose yagerageje kwiyahura Somebody brought her for the retreat Hanyuma umuntu aza kumuza na umwihere She did not like it Nabwo yabikunze Because she was thinking even the priests the pastors the counselors they are all abusers Yumbaga ko abapadiri ndetse nabo bamugira inama abapasteri bose yumbaga bari bugire nka babandi bambere because if her own father abused her what about others ni base umubyara amufashe ku ngufu yibaza guko abandi byagenda she had lost faith in everyone yari yarataye kizere mu bantu bose yara komeretse bikabije then she was sharing what happened to her avuze rero uko byamugendekeye he the priest we don't know what to tell her naba padiri bwabo bibashe cyo bamubwira because it is her experience of pain and abuse kubera ko umvaga ko nububabare ni gikomere gikabije and she was feeling that full of sorrow a woman carrying heavy sorrows akuba kuyumbaga yibumbaga nyine ubabare uwo mukobwa yikoreye ikintu buremereye because we know no advice can help her kubera ko bari bazi ko inama zawo ntacyo zabamarira we asked her can we pray for you bamaje bati ese dushaka kugusengera started to pray batangira gusenga find mercy specifically for her babu vugira isha pray impuwe kuberawe we continuously prayed for god's mercy bakomaza kwinginga impuwe z'Imana because we told jesus in our heart kuberako babwiraga yuzuri umutima wabo we cannot convince her twebwe ntacyo twakora kugira ngo tumugarure we cannot convert her nabo twe twakora kugira ngo tumuhindure we cannot touch her heart nabo twashobora kugera ku mutima we but lord jesus you can convert her ariko nyagasani yesu bwawe wa muhindura you alone can change her wowe wowe nyine no ushora kumuhindura lord jesus please intervene nyagasani yesu ngwino mubabarire we beg you to have mercy on this girl ngwino ugirire mu mwana wo mukobwa we continue to pray bakomeza gusenga this girl mukobwa hanyuma atangira kuvuza induru no kurira cyane anigaragura hasi baza namazi umugisha bakomeza gusaba bingira babona atangiye guhinda umushyitsi yarafite ubwa bwinshi she was screaming jesus i forgive go away jesus i forgive go away she is repeatedly saying yara fitu gwa bwinshi cyane rero akomeza kuvuga amagambo avuga ati yesu ndababariye igira kure yanje yesu ndababariye igira kure yanje after some time she come down hashize rero umwanya aratuza slowly peace started to come to her ari umutima we told her to sit down baramugira bati cara we asked her what happened bamubaza uko byamugendekeye she was telling us we were praying ahubwo ati gye mwarimo musenga she could see a vision yabonye yarabonekewe the vision was she saw Jesus coming down from the crucifix. Yabonye Yesu aje imbere ye abata with full wounds in his body. Umubiri we wose wuzuye ibikomere. Broken face. Afite amaso yashwanyaguritse. Afite umubiri washwanyaguritse. Am uva maraso mande zose. A piece of blood. Abona inyama Isa she could see he is feel the smell of that blood yumbaga impumuro ya maraso with those broken knees jesus came to her abonya abona rero izo nyama zatanyaguritse na maraso amunukiye abona yesa ja musanga she could see jesus was holding the hands of her father the pastor even the counselor the doctor who tried to abuse her yabonye rero yesu musaraba amaziye pamubaye wa muganga ngomba kumwitaho wa unda ngomba kumugira inama wa mupasteur wa ufu aho yaramuzi ni ganza byipping them standing 
Jesus knelt in front of her. Ala Yesu afuka mimbeye. Like a beggar she just told her. Mumu sabirizi Yesu aramubwira ati, My daughter, I ask forgiveness. Mwana wange nsabye imbabazi. On behalf of your dad. Nsabye imbabazi mu mwanya wa papa wawe. On behalf of the doctor. Mu mwanya wa muganga. On behalf of the counselor. Muganga mu mwanya wa ndakugira inama. Do you forgive me? Ndakwinginze mbabarira. Forgive them. Baba barire. If you want to spit on their face. Ni ushaka kubacira mu maso. For what they have done to you. Kubera ibyo bagukoreye. You spit on my face. Nchira mu maso ngewe. If you want to to spit on their face. If you want to hit on their face. Ni ushaka kubacira mu maso. Ni ushaka kubakubita mu maso. You hit on my face. Nchira mu maso bari ngewe kubita. If you want to pull their hair you pull my hair. Ni ushaka kubapfura imisatsi. Icyo ushaka kuba bakorera cyose. My daughter I am ready. Mwana wanje. I'm ready to suffer again. Nditeguye kubabara umwanya wabo. Please forgive them. Baba barire. She could feel the blood. Yes, yumba gamaraso. The smell of blood. Umumuro ya maraso. She could not even contain the pain of Jesus. Yashura gatse no kumva ubabare bwa Yesu. He is begging like a beggar. Ari mwamusaba nk'umusabirizi. As Jesus is telling I am suffering when you keep anger. Amugira ati Yesu abugira umukobwa ati ndababara iyo gumanye urwango mu mutima wawe. Jesus scream Jesus I forgive you go away. Aho ne yatangiye kuvuga ati Yesu ndababariye igira kure yanje. She scream you go away. Yavuza ko ndora ati igira kure yanje ndababariye ndababariye that same moment muri uwo mwanya rero she felt that compassion nibwo yumvise izo mpuhwe she forgave them arababarira that's why she came back to the senses nibwo yagarutse rero ku bumuntu yongera bumuntu she received peace abona amahoro my dear sisters and brothers bavandimwe when you keep you are letting jesus suffer again ubutuma yesu if you have little love for jesus ne ufite urukundo niyo rwaruke kuri yesu we will forgive uzababarira remember when he says e wiyuke ko yavuze ati when he tells you to forgive akusaba kubabarira he knows how much you have suffered azineza ukuntu babara he knows how many people abused you azo kuno abantu baguhutaje he knows what you are carrying in your heart azo byo ikore mu mutima wawe is coming to you like a beggar arashe mirayo kumusabirizi he has washed the feet of his betrayer judas iyo je shibirenge byabamuhemo w'intumwa ye yuda he has no problem to touch your feet Now the fit day immediately changing your mind you have to ask forgiveness. Now the fit thing you may have to say he is always humble. Yes we get it shall go. He's asking you to forgive. Allah go sala ko barira. Everyone who hurt you. Ko barira buri wese wakugiriye nabi. Those who destroyed you brutally. Allah go sala ko ichi buzima. For the sake of Jesus. Kubwo imbaraga kubwo babari bwa Yesu. Babarire. Tell Jesus my Jesus I don't want you to see suffer like this. Gira Yesu tinyagasani Yesu sinshaka ko njya kuntu babara gutyo. My forgiveness can reduce your pain. Niba ko babara kwanyesha wakuganya babare bwawe. I'm here to forgive. Ndababarire. Do you want to reduce the pain of Jesus? Masha ganya ugana bo babare bwa Yesu. Do you want to console Jesus? Murashaka guhumuriza Yesu. Do you want to comfort Jesus? Murashaka guhimbaraga Yesu. Let us forgive. Nitubabarire. It starts with praying for those people. Bitangira usabira abantu bose bakugiriye nabi. Praying for everyone by name those who even raped you, destroyed you, molested you, abused you. Start praying for them. Usabira buri muntu wese mwizina wakugiriye nabi, waguhutaje, wagufashe ku ngufu, wakwambuye ibyawe. Buri muntu wese wumvufite urwango mutima wa muvuge mwizina umusabire. You will see a miracle immediately. Uzabona ibitangaza wo mwanya. I was conducting an inner healing retreat in Nairobi. Muri Nairobi yarimo akoresha umwiherero w'ibikomeye ku bikomeye. We asked them to forgive. Basaba kubabarira. We have shared this incident. Babwira ibyo byari byarabaye. And we tell them to forgive everyone. Hanyuma basaba kubabarira buri muntu wese. I was standing behind the blessed sacrament. Padiri yarahagaze inyuma y'isakramenti tagatifu. As I could see people were crying. Abona abantu benshi barimo barira cyane. Because when they forgive they could see everything they suffered. Kuko iyo babarira ubona ibyo bintu byose banyuzemo byakubabaje. As if those enemies are just standing in front of them. Naho abantu bose bakwabaje baguhagaze imbere. They started screaming and crying. Batangira kurira no kuvuza induru. As they forgive them. Batangiye kubabarira. They release them. Batangiye kubabohora. And I could see them crying and praying. Akabona barimo barira kandi bas So standing behind the sacrament. Yara hagasi nyuma y'sacrament ritaga. I ask Jesus like this. Abaza Yesu ati, do you have something to give your people? Hari kino ufite guha abantu bawe. Do you have any special blessing for your people? Hari umugisha udasanzwe wifuza guha abantu bawe. I could see a vision of Jesus going to everyone forgiving with a small key and putting them in their hand and closing their hand. Yabonye rero Yesu agenda iruhande rwa buri muntu wese wababariye afite urufunguzo akarushyira mu kiganza cye. 
I could see a key as a gift God is giving them. But I did not understand what does it mean. Then the Lord revealed to me Isaiah 22, 22. Isaiah 22, 22. Hanyuma imana imuha izambo mu gitabo cy'umuhanuzi Isaiah 22, 22. I will place on his shoulder the key of the king of David. He shall open no one shall shut, he shall shut and no one shall open. Nzashira kunuguze Musenge chane Nzashira kunuguze Nzashira kunuguze Urufunguzo rw'inzu ya Dawudi Na chingura Na chingura Hayo kujirusha wala kuchinga Na chinga Na chinga Hayo kujirusha chingura Key symbolize authority Bifugarero uwasha That means when you forgive you will be given a key. Then when you start a business, no one can shut it. Then when you apply for a job, you will get it. When you forgive and pray, it will be answered. Because you are given a key from God. Do you want to get a key from the Lord? All those who wanted a key from Jesus Christ. One small thing to do. Forgive from your heart. Are you ready to forgive? And bless them? And even pray for their salvation. It's important even to forgive the departed souls. Then you will get a special key. I am a witness. I am not just saying a story. And you will never it's a story you can I saw Jesus giving key to those who forgive. Many people come and say, Father, I try many business. Nothing is working. I tell them, you need a key from Jesus. You'll get it when you forgive. You try everything and if you are not succeeding, that means there is an aspect of unforgiveness. Your Jesus can open a door for you. No one can cross it again. There's a beautiful song I like. It's composed by a pastor. And I have great respect for pastors. The song is very small. When Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. Have you heard such a song? Do, do you have it in Kinyarwanda? We will compose it, then we will sing it. Because Jesus has the key. For everything. For your business. For your job. For your studies. For your health. If he gives you a key. It is permanent. Let's sing offer to him.